WBAL TV 11 weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Tom Tasselmeyer. That doesn't happen a whole lot when places like Detroit and Cleveland are warmer than places like Baltimore or Richmond or Norfolk, but the, you, some more moderate air is filtering into the mid-Atlantic coming down from New England. And an east breeze will help to keep our temperatures in check over the next few days, so the heat will be pushed a little farther west and even north. 88 Detroit, 89 Cleveland, 90 in Columbus, Ohio today. But there's only 87 at the airport, 83 down at Ocean City. Norfolk and Richmond stayed in the mid to upper 80s. Charlottesville did spike up briefly to 90 degrees. But for most areas, temperatures trending downward, especially compared to this time last week when we were talking 95 to 100 degree heat. But that 87 at the airport was technically a degree warmer than normal. Record will stand for another year, though, and this one goes all the way back to 1955 when we hit 100 degrees on the second day of August. This August, the shower activity has been fairly isolated, but one little batch of showers coming out of eastern Pennsylvania. This is the 3 o'clock radar earlier this evening, earlier this afternoon, eight hours ago, and that little cell has just held together and right, right across the northern and western suburbs now pushing down toward southern Carroll County. Uh, cluster of heavy downpours with it, some strong gusty winds, and now it's starting to push toward the western sections of uh, Howard County. And on that path, the radar is estimating some pretty heavy downpours too. One and a half, two, over two and a half inches of rain estimated northwest Hartford County, nearly two inches over there around uh, Liberty Reservoir. So a uh, pretty good little downpour associated with that tenacious little cell that came out of eastern Pennsylvania. It'll continue tracking south toward the Potomac and into perhaps northern Virginia before it fades away. But this area of high pressure to our north will become more dominant and the showers will become much more isolated and few and far between over the next few days. Although coming off that high east winds will keep some moisture coming in off the ocean. So we're not going to completely clear the skies out, and especially late at night, early morning. There could be some low clouds and fog, but I do think we'll see some sun each of the next few afternoons. Not so down here. This is where tropical storm Earl is making its push toward Belize. Right now, the winds have come up to 60 with gusts to 70, and it is forecast to become a Category 1 hurricane Wednesday afternoon as it makes its approach to Belize and then cuts across the Yucatan Peninsula. Should be a, a, probably a hurricane as it makes landfall with some very heavy rain and then tracks inland before it uh, briefly goes back over the Gulf of Mexico and then inland again toward Mexico City Friday or Saturday. So all of that activity staying well to our south, but we'll keep an eye on it and see how rough it is when that hurricane makes landfall. Here, high pressure over New England pushing down the coast, and you'll see how it wipes out the shower activity, actually tries to clear the skies a little bit, especially each afternoon, and temperatures will be much more moderate with that east wind. 65 to 70 tonight. The showers out there early tonight will fade away as we head toward morning. Partly cloudy, not as warm tomorrow. High temperatures 81 to 86 in your bay forecast. An east breeze and waves around one foot on the open waters of the bay. So the TV 11 forecast for the next seven temperatures more comfortable. A chance for a shower or a thunderstorm as we heat up briefly Saturday. But we should finish the, uh, the uh, weekend with lots of sunshine on Sunday. All right, sounds good, Tom. Thank you. Well, the opening ceremonies for the Olympics in Rio are just three days away yeah. now, and members of Team USA are getting to know each other. And check this out. Simone Bills is a Bills is a Bilas. gymnast. Or Bilas is a gymnast in the Olympics. She wanted to see how she measured up against one of the men's volleyball players. And here is the result. Simona is, <laughs> is four foot eight. He's six foot eight. But I think you'd have to agree both of their heights work to their advantage in their different That's sports, sort of the right? Long, long and short of it there, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Should be exciting. Hey, Jar. Let the games and the strange begin. Dylan Bundy sparkles again at Camden Yards tonight as an O starter. But once again, that doesn't necessarily translate into an easy win. See why next in sports. America with Mega Jackpots. It's Mega Millions. Hello, America. I'm John Crow. It's Tuesday, August 2nd, and tonight's Mega Millions Jackpot is an estimated a new.